What's up, guys? This is Alex Christopher from The Duran, and I have with me Alexander Merkurs, editor-in-chief of the Duran.com. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Novichok story. All right, Alexander, I know that you're uh, currently crisscrossing around uh, Europe, and I wanted to, to get five minutes of your time to get your take on the Novichok story that broke the other day. Um, I did a video with Peter Lavelle on it as the, as the news broke that uh, the Metropolitan Police, uh, they caught the, supposedly they caught the guys that, that did this, the two uh, Russians that traveled from Moscow to London, um, poisoned the Scripples, hung out then in the UK for a couple days and uh, bolted back to Moscow. So what's your take uh, on the news that broke yesterday as announced by the Metropolitan Police and Theresa May um, in her parliament speech? Well, first of all, can I say something about that? Because, of course, what these two people have been charged with is the attack on the Skripals. Interestingly, they have not been charged with the attack on the two drug addicts. And one has to ask why. But... Bigger for me is the question of the collapse of due process. We have a statement from the police in which they say that questions of innocence and guilt must be decided by juries. Within hours, we have Theresa May, Prime Minister of Great Britain, standing up in the House of Commons, saying not only are these two people guilty, but they're also GRU agents, and that the Russian government is behind it. Now, if that is not a statement of guilt, I don't know what is. On top of all of that, we have charges brought against these two individuals, apparently not on the basis of their actual names, but on their false ones. I have never known a situation where people are charged on their false names. And there is so much else in terms of the collapse of due process we can talk about, and I'm sure we will, over the course of this program. And so, Alexander, what's, uh, what has been Russia's reaction to, to this news? The Russian authorities have offered cooperation with the British authorities about investigating this case. The British have consistently refused this. There has been no attempt to, to question these two people. They may have totally innocent explanations of why they were in Salisbury on those two days when they went there. Again, I have never known a situation where two people are charged without being first questioned by the police. And yet we have seen this happen again in this case. No real explanation of why that has happened has been provided, but I understand or I have heard that people within the police and within the British Crown Prosecution Service are unhappy with this. Now, I have to ask the question, when due process is disregarded so completely, how can one have any faith in any legal proceedings that are taking place? And more to the point, why is due process being disregarded so completely in a case as important as this? Why is due process uh, being neglected in this case? I mean, I'm sure everyone watching this kind of has that gut feeling as to why this is happening, um, whether you're dealing with anonymous sources or classified stuff that you can't release to the public. But take us a little deeper into why due process and transparency, especially with regard to the Novichok script ball poisoning, is being uh, completely disregarded. Yeah, I mean, is it because the British government is looking to pin the case on the Russians, doesn't want to provide evidence, knows that these two people will never be put on trial, and therefore none of the evidence that it is relying upon which is evidence, which is apparently classified intelligence evidence, which cannot be provided in a courtroom, is ever going to have to be produced in court? So does it feel it is able to say whatever it likes? In which case, this whole thing is, as you discussed, discussed the other day with Peter Lavelle, just a show? 
Or is there something else? Is there something we don't know about? Is it possible, for example, that Sergei Skripal is talking? And if so, why are we not hearing anything from him? Why are we not hearing from Sergei Skripal? Why are, we, why are we not hearing from Yulia? So many questions, so few answers. Alexander McCurse, Editor-in-Chief of the Duran, thank you for taking five minutes out of your time to give us your insights and thoughts as to the breaking news that hit yesterday with the Novichok uh, Scripple poisoning case. Guys, if you like this video, click on the subscribe button down below and click on that notifications bell to get notifications every time we push out a new video. And remember to visit the Duran shop, pick up a t-shirt, help support the Duran, or donate to our PayPal page. Your donations, your purchases on the Duran Shop help keep this channel up and running and help us continue to broadcast the news to you. Until next time, take care.